Hello everyone. If you're looking for the best note-taking app in 2025, chances are you've heard of Notability and GoodNotes. 6. Today, we'll compare them side by side so you can figure out which one matches your workflow. Let's dive in. First, Notability. Created by Ginger Labs, it's built around simplicity and speed. Its standout feature is audio recording that syncs to your handwritten notes in real time making it perfect for lectures, interviews, or meetings. You also get smooth writing tools, shape recognition, and a gallery of free templates. The free version works well, but audio transcription, note summaries, and more templates require a $20 per year subscription. Notability is exclusive to iOS and iPadOS, with privacy-focused features like password-protected notes, if you want a clean, distraction-free app that just works, this is it. Now, GoodNotes 6. Developed by time-based technology, it's all about customization and advanced study tools. Its handwriting feels very natural, and the AI features, like handwriting recognition, spell check, and flashcard study sets, are a big plus for students. Unlike Notability, it's available cross-platform on iOS Android, Windows, and Mac, so you can take your notes anywhere. Pricing is flexible. $7 per year or a one-time $29.99 purchase if you're only using it on Apple devices. The free version is limited to three notebooks, but enough to test it out. It's great for managing large libraries, creating study materials, or working collaboratively. So, how do they stack up? Notability is best if you need fast note capture with audio syncing, making it ideal for lecture-heavy students or busy professionals. Good notes. Six is better if you want AI-powered tools, cross-device access, and advanced organization, especially useful for STEM students or those juggling complex projects. The bottom line? Pick Notability for simplicity and audio-driven workflows, or go with GoodNotes 6 for flexibility and powerful features. Both have free versions, so try them out and see which one clicks with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more app comparisons, and I'll see you in the next one.